Hi, State Senator Melinda Bush. I've said that I'm gonna do my best to update you every day that we're here um, in special session. We're ending the eighth day of special session today. The Senate has continued to meet. We've continued to work across the aisle and um, continue to meet with um, people on both sides trying to get something to move in the House. The good news is uh, a few bills have moved. Um, there were a couple of them were called in the House. These are bills that we passed in the Senate as part of the balanced budget that we put together um, before the end of session, May 30th. Uh, the property tax freeze bill was called and went down. Uh, it did not pass. It was a four-year property tax freeze. It failed because there was only one Republican that voted for the bill. There was also a pension reform bill that I believe did pass. Um, I'm not quite sure. I didn't see the vote totals, but I think that that one did pass. Uh, there was some work done on workers' comp. Um, again, these are bills, though, that are, you know, it's, a, I would say, promising to some degree because they're starting to move, but the problem still remains that there's really not bipartisan work going on. Uh, we didn't see, again, other than one Republican, uh, I believe it was Representative Harris uh, that voted yes on the property tax bill. So things are coming together a little bit, but moving extremely slowly. Um, and I, again, I'm gonna ask you, please call the governor of the state of Illinois, the Speaker of the House, Michael Madigan, and your state rep and tell them Illinois needs a budget. This is costing us $48,000, nearly $50,000 a day to be in special session. Those are taxpayer dollars that we could be using to run the state of Illinois. Instead, we're using them on wasting time while we should be passing a budget.